Good. It's St. Margaret's, the advanced class. Coach ball game here, three claps. One, two, three. Bang, bang, bang. Arms up high. Show off those armpits and sniff your armpits. Sniff your left one. Let me know what it smells like. Mine smells like Home Depot. Sniff the right one. My right armpit smells like spaghetti and meatballs. All right, touch your toes and don't pick your nose. Now you might be thinking, who is this guy and where is he from? I'm not from Neptune. I am from North Carolina and my name's Coach Ball Game and I'm gonna be coaching some PE classes for you from my backyard into your living room. Sniff your left kneecap. Oh, my left kneecap smells like rice and beans. And switch, sniff the right one. My right kneecap always smells like cinnamon toast crunch. That's it. And go side to side, folks. Fantastic, just like that. Um, our PE class today, it's not gonna be easy, but it's not gonna be terribly difficult. You guys can do it. It's gonna uh, help if you've got your shirt tucked in. If your shirt's tucked in, you're gonna look better, run faster, uh, you're gonna, you're gonna do better. All right, time to pick some strawberries. Ready, exercise. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, and clap on your behonkus, butterflies. Stretch out the butterflies here. I coach the Sandlot at St. Margaret's every Friday afternoon. Uh, you may have seen me or heard my drum. I, I like to play the drums over there while we play our baseball game, but right now I'm, uh, I'm gonna uh, teach you how to work out at home by yourself in the quarantine days. Make a V, touch your left phalange. Gotta stretch out before we start working out. Anybody know why? I can't hear you or see you, uh, but you can hear me and see me, so I'll just answer because uh, you don't want to get uh, injured. It makes you run faster and perform better, but it also prevents injury. Switch, touch your right phalange. Phalange is my favorite word, by the way. Both phalanges. Get both phalanges there. And modeling pose, left leg out, right foot across. Twist your upper body and look behind you. If your back happens to pop, say, oh my lanta. That's what I say when, uh, when things kind of startle me. Oh, my lanta. And hug that knee into the chest. Say, I love you, knee. Just like that. That's it. And switch. Twist and look the other way. Oh, back popped again. Oh, my lanta. Hug that one in. Yes, very good. I love you, too. Still smells like rice and beans. Downward facing dog. Cobra, upward facing dog. Oh yeah, half moon. Just like that. And other side, half moon. Very nice. Now start running in place at my uh, sand lots. And when somebody's hustling real fast, everybody gives them a hustle salute. This is the old hustle salute. Freeze. Faster. Freeze. Faster. Freeze. Fast as you can. And stop. Three claps. One, two, three. Arm circles. Start small. Get a little bigger till they're real big. And go backwards. Start small. Get a little bigger till you're real big. Hug yourself. That's it. Let yourself know I love you. And move the neck into a circular circular path. Go the other way. Circular path and deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Flamingo time. Engage the core so you stay balanced. Also stare at my fedora hat. That'll help you balance. And switch. That's it, just like that. That's very nice, outstanding. Twist the trunks. Now, the best advice I ever got from a coach wasn't something he said, it's something he did. He showed up every single day and uh, threw batting practice to me in college, early, early BP. 
and that was the best advice I ever got to uh, to let my players know that actions speak louder than words so I'm gonna do this workout with you I'm not just gonna tell you what to do I'm gonna do it with you and feel your pain now go right here like a windmill kind of like a golf swing all right ten jumping jacks all together ready exercise one two three four five six seven eight nine ten very good quick team meeting pose uh, team meeting pose on a knee shoulders back balance an imaginary cup of milk on your head with the uncomfortable eye contact um, we're gonna have some fun today and it starts with two minutes of running you can run in place if you're in your living room if you want to run around your house up the stairs and back but we're gonna go two minutes of just a light jog where you get your knees up and you land on your toes and don't forget if you tuck your shirt in uh, yeah, it, it'll it'll go better. Go. Some of you might just be running in place right here, watching the TV screen. I'll tell you a joke. Um, why did the orange stop rolling down the hill? Ran out of juice. Thank you. Got another one for you. 42 seconds down. Uh, where did the baseball player go get their new uniform? New Jersey. advance class keep it going one minute down one to go how about another joke sure um, what's green and has wheels grass I lied about the wheels keep going <sighs> the theme of our week one of class is positive vibes and I'll tell you this, if you're smiling while you're running, um, it just feels better. And it makes other people feel good too. And for anybody that's in the room, maybe your parents are watching you work out here, your brother or sister, uh, hopefully brother and sister, you can say, at a boy or at a girl, as we run, as we work out with five, four, three, two, and stop. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth, get a water break. Get a water break and relax. If you need to push pause on this video and just chill out for two minutes, please do, all right? Catch your breath, get your water, um, and then grab four cones. If you don't have four cones, maybe four bases. If you don't have that, uh, four pieces of trash or four socks or four of anything and you're gonna create a baseball diamond there's home plate first base second base and third base all right and this is called circuit training we'll just start jogging in place here at home plate and when we go to first base we're gonna do ten push-ups back straight chest to the ground two three do these with me five six seven eight nine ten when we get to second base we're gonna do kangaroo hops over our little obstacle for me it's this little orange cone and I'm jumping like a kangaroo in Australia mate yeah mate look at that kangaroo do those with me now to third base when you get to third base, body squats. One, two, we're doing 10 of these, three. Get the bee honkus low to the ground. Imagine you're a kangaroo once again. What's in here? It's a pouch, and there's your baby. You don't want your baby falling out of the pouch. Keep it in. 
and 10. And when you get to home, 10 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Very good. Now we're doing four times around total. That was one. Here's two. First base is my push ups. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And second base, kangaroo hops. I'm doing it with you, folks. I'm struggling there with you. This isn't easy. Push through, mind over matter. Ten. Ten body squats. One, two, three. Mind over body. The mind is stronger than we think. And home plate, jumping jacks, 10 of those. Five, eight, and 10. Two down, two to go, folks. Push-ups, 10 of them. That's 10. Kangaroo. I don't know what a kangaroo sounds like, but I imagine it's something like this. Nah. Kind of sounds like a pig. And third base. Body squats. Good posture. Keep the baby Joey in your kangaroo pouch. Be honk us down. And 10. Home plate is our jumping jacks. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Three down, one to go. Advanced PE. This is advanced. Two, four, six, And here we go. Kangaroo. Three. Four, five, yes, body squats. You can do it. I believe in you. At a boy, at a girl, Yahoo, oh my Lanta, you're my best friend. I believe in you. And ten, jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Before you go get that water break, arms high above your head. Another deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out your mouth as you go touch your toes. Don't pick your nose. I'm a poet and I didn't Realize that I was. Get yourself a water break. Push pause on my YouTube video here. Rest for as long as you need to. All right, very good. Once that water break is over, you can clean up your bases. And you can grab a tennis ball. All right, we're gonna work a little hand-eye coordination. If you don't have a tennis ball, two balled up socks. I got to imagine all of you at least have two pairs of socks. If not, then you need to go uh, get you some socks. All right. But I also would love if you could go get a notebook and a pen. And we're going to uh, call this piece of paper PE with coach ball game class one. And the first drill we're going to do is just tossing the ball up in the air and simply catching it above our head. I call this drill high five the sky because you're high five in the sky with your catching hand and you're meeting it, squeezing it, and freezing it. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. That's the name of the game. So this is high five the sky. So in your notebooks, you can write high five the sky for column number one, okay? Uh, on your marks, 60 seconds, how many can you do? Get set, go. Simple as this. See how many you can do in 60 seconds.
keep your eyes on it. For some of you, this may be pretty basic, pretty simple. Go as quick as you'd like. Some of you, maybe this is brand new for you. Be brave. Try to see the ball all the way into your hand. And we don't want to catch it like this. This is called a cup of soup. If you catch it down like this, like your <laughs> slurping uh, soup, you want to go above the head, meet it, squeeze it, and freeze it. 20 seconds remaining. I even wrote a song and it goes like this. Meet it, squeeze it. Meet it, squeeze it. Meet it, squeeze it. But don't forget to freeze it. On a boot out. 10 seconds. Ba bow. Boot up. Yeah. Five, four, three, and stop. So, in your notebook, you're going to write down how many you got. This is class number one. And that column is high five the sky. Now, drill number two, column number two on your piece of paper, is called the wall drill. Again, works a lot better if your shirt's tucked in and if you got a smile on your face. Just toss the ball up against the wall. It's gonna bounce right back at your face and you're gonna do the same thing. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. Keep your fingers to the sky, keep your elbow down underneath, and meet, squeeze, and freeze. You'll do this in basketball if you're trying to catch it. Um, baseball, obviously, many other sports as well. On your marks, get set, go! Meat, squeeze, and freeze. Cup of soups don't count. If you catch it like this, doesn't count. Gotta be fingers to the sky and high five it. High five the ball, give it a good high five. If you guys are baseball players and you've got a glove and you wanna do this drill with your glove, do so. Absolutely. Meat, squeeze, and freeze. Meet it. Squeeze it and freeze it. That's it. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. If you want to put some music on in your living room while you're doing that, by all means. My neighbor is doing yard work over there, so it constantly sounds like a lawnmower or a chainsaw is going off over there. Really great sound. Meat, squeeze, and freeze. I'm being facetious, by the way. Five, four, three, two, and stop. Okay, write that number down. How many did you get in class number one for the wall drill? So far, we've got our high five to the sky. We've got our wall drill. Drill number three, it's called the alligator. You're gonna get farther away from a wall and you're gonna throw a ball up against it so it rolls back to you. And I call it the alligator because this hand smacks down on it. You wanna get your B-honkus low Get your glove hand dirty for my baseball players if you want to use a glove. And you're just going to move your feet to get in front of the ball and see how many you can do in 60 seconds. All right? On your marks, get set, go! down in ready position keep on going 25 seconds down it's kind of like you're dancing on a toilet I even wrote a song for that and it goes like this dance dance everybody dance on a toilet hey on a toilet I wrote that song in the meat squeeze and freeze you're welcome keep going folks 18 seconds remaining alligator 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 Alligator. Alligator. That's it. Five, four, three, and stop. Okay, write that number down. That's column three. That's called alligators. Very nice. If you need to get some water, push pause, do what you need to do. That's a hard workout right there. That gets the heart rate going for sure. Now, column number four, soccer ball. If you don't have a soccer ball, then again, you can use a tennis ball or uh, a balled up sock. I even have a balled up piece of paper here for you uh, no sock owners. You can use a balled up piece of paper as well. But I'm gonna go soccer ball and I'm just juggling as much as I can uh, without using my hands um, so it doesn't hit the ground. I got three there, but I'm gonna keep my number going for 60 seconds. 
Soccer juggling. On your marks, get set, go! kicked it right into my nose. If you've done that, then you're not alone. Accumulate your total. I've got 12 total. 13, 14, ah. Hang in there. For you soccer players, this is probably pretty easy. There it is. 20 seconds remaining. Stay with it. You can use your chest, your foot, your knee, your head, anything but your hands. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 3, 2, 1, stop. Write that number down. That's column number four. That is soccer juggling. St. Margaret's advanced PE class. Number one. Drill number five. Stay with me. It's called figure eight. Spread out your feet nice and wide. Bend your knees like you're dancing on that toilet, right? Ball through the legs. Two, three, four. How many can you get in 60 seconds? Now this is a, a leg workout as well because you're in that down and ready position. So stay with it. You're gonna get tired halfway through, but mind over body. Figure eight, go. Great, keep going. Try to beat me. See if you can get more than coach ball game. Any parents or brothers or sisters in the room, they're starting to feel tired, so they need a little motivation. Give them a little atta boy or a girl. Cheer them up, cheer them on. Maybe you wanna play some instruments. Yeah, who, you can do it, yeah. Maybe you've got a tambourine. Yeah. Maybe you've got a little conga. Cheer them on. Give them some motivation. Five seconds remaining. Four, three, two, one. Stop. All right, that is column number five, figure eight. Jot that number down. How many did you get? Now, here's the deal. Next week, class number two, we're gonna do the same drills and try and get a little better. And if you uh, are familiar with graphs, we're gonna start trending upwards with our numbers. Number six is called the hula hoop. We got two to go. This one is right here. You're just taking the ball around your waist like it's a hula hoop. Definitely works better if your shirt's tucked in. See if you can get more than me on your marks. Get set, go. Hand and eye coordination. Stay nice and quiet with your head. That's the key. Hand-eye coordination means your eyes and your hands are like twins. They know exactly what each other's doing. And for every sport, hand-eye coordination is paramount. Very important. Volleyball, tennis, basketball, dance, cheerleading, basketball, water polo, Crew, bowling, baseball, ping pong, tennis, golf. Oh, my arms are starting to get tired. I bet yours are too. I wish my family was out here so they could start cheering me on and playing some music. I do have my buddies Norman and George sitting there. Norman the sloth and George the monkey. They're my pals. Oh, and stop, wow. My shoulders are burning. Wow. Oh, my Lanta. Jot that one down. That's column number six. That's called hula hoop. And our final one, called ping pong. If you've got a ping pong paddle and a ping pong ball, perfect. I have a wooden spoon. And yes, I just scratched my back with it as well. Um, balled up piece of paper and a wooden spoon, and I'm gonna ping pong it up and see how many I can do in 60 seconds. On your marks, push pause if you need to go get something, and then push play when you're ready. Get set, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Oh, I got six so far. Let's keep adding it up. It's a cumulative thing. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 so far. Uh, my balled up piece of paper just went under my chair. Some of you may be doing this inside and you might lose some time if the ball goes underneath the couch or something. I understand, I'm with you. Nice. 20 seconds remaining. I'm at 32. 33, 34, 35, 6, 7, 8, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, Two, and stop. Very good. Write that number down. I don't know about you. I'm sweating. I'm going to wipe, wipe my brow and uh, get some water. Push pause if you need to. Get some water. Chill out. Come back in maybe two or three minutes um, because now we're going to get stronger. We've worked on our quickness. We've worked on our hand-eye. Uh, the third thing we're going to always do is try to get a little bit stronger. Um, but I want to, I want to clarify that everything we do in this class, it's meant for you to be able to do it by yourself um, in a living room if you have to, or if you have a garage or a backyard. Uh, unfortunately, we can't um, hook up with our, our teams. We can't play uh, season games, soccer, softball, basketball, all these. We, we've got to be alone or with our family. So these are the things that we can do um, uh, in this quarantine time. So first up is, how long can you hold the body squat? All right, we're gonna do six of these, but this is gonna be 60 seconds at max. See how long you can hold this squat right here. On your marks, get set, go. Getting the legs stronger here. Try to get as low as you can. 90 degrees is perfect. And then again, you're a kangaroo, so keep that chest uh, up. You don't wanna bow over like this, right? Really engage the legs, hold the body squat. I'm doing it with you, this is not easy. But this is section three of our class, and it's get strong. <laughs> Don't forget to breathe. If you're hurting, just stop, stop right there. And then maybe pick it up as soon as you uh, feel a little bit better. We'll try to go 60 seconds max. Got 20 to go, hold it. Oh, my Lanta, stay there. <laughs> ah, thinking good thoughts because this is burning. 10 seconds to go. I need my family to cheer me on here. Cheer on the fam. Woo wee. Three, two, one, haw. Oh, shake out your legs like you've got some peanut butter on your phalanges. There you go, got some sticky peanut butter on your toes and you've gotta shake those out. That's it. Very nice. All right, uh, getting stronger. Drill number two is the plank challenge. Can you? Hold this plank position, back straight, right? Your knees are off the ground, your elbows are holding you up, and you're gonna try to stay here for 60 seconds. On your marks, get set, go. This is really working the core. When I was in college, I played baseball, and we did a lot of stomach and core work because that's where all your strength comes. That's where you hit home runs, and that's where you throw the football a long way and kick it hard and uh, swim real fast. It's all in the core. So this is very important. And again, it's really hard. If you need to take a break, just boom, put the knees to the ground and rest. But stay with it, 60 seconds. We're halfway there. It doesn't feel good. I'm right there with you, folks. But the mind is stronger than the body. Don't forget to breathe. Advanced PE class, St. Margaret's. What a beautiful school. Oh man. Five seconds. And stop. Oh. Well done. Well done. Number three, how many jumping jacks can you do in 60 seconds? And I'm so proud of all of you, uh, how hard you've been working that I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna bring out a friend.
I'm gonna do my 60 seconds of jumping jacks with this box on my head because I am just so proud of all of you and uh, I feel like you've earned the right to laugh at coach ball game. So do it with me, 60 seconds on your marks, get set, go. Wow, it's only been 30 seconds. Whoa! Keep working hard. Stay in the fight. Don't give up. And stop. Oh, my Lanta. Whew. Fantastic. All right. If you need some water, if you need to chill out, please do so. Next up, it's the old sit ups. Sit ups. But we're going to touch our toes when we come up, and then our hands are going to go back and touch the floor. And we'll go for 60 seconds here. Do as many as you can. If you gotta take a pause, I get it. On your marks, get set, go. Touch the toes and back to the ground. Touch and touch. Your phalanges are doing all the touching. Oh, that's it. My favorite word is phalanges. My second favorite word is cinnamon toast crunch. And I think that's three words, but oh man. Good job, folks. Halfway there. You can do it. I'm your biggest fan. I'm rooting you on. This is not easy. 10 seconds remaining. I can only imagine what my neighbors are thinking as they watch me in the backyard right now. Talk to a phone and stop. Whew. Get some water. Great job. There's only one more to do, and it's called the burpee. And I think you guys have uh, probably done this before in PE class, but it's the burpee challenge. How many can you get in 60 seconds? What's a burpee? You jump up in the air, then you go down, and you do a push up, and then you Repeat, rinse and repeat. On your marks, get set, go burpees. Sixty seconds max. See if you can hang in there for the entire sixty ball players. Jump off your toes. Stay off your heels. We can do this. Positive vibes. Who? 20 seconds remaining. You got this. I'm struggling and I'm struggling with you, but you are keeping me going. You are motivating me. Five, four, three, two, stop. Oh, my Atlanta. Get a water. Get a water. Push pause if you need to. Lay down, but definitely deep breathe. In through the nose, out the mouth. One more just like that. Now we call it the cool down stretch. Arms high, snip those armpits again. Always smells a little different 
after a workout. Ooh. Now, my left armpit smells like cat food. That was my clipboard. My clipboard's even tired from that workout. And my right armpit, uh, I can't even put it into words what it smells like. Wow. Touch your toes and don't pick your nose. That's it. Spread it out wide, side to side. This is the cool down. That's it. The heart rate was up. We had that plane up all the way to its height and now we're just ringing it on down. We're not gonna just go to sleep. We gotta cool it down onto the behunkus. Butterflies. That's it. That's it. Make a V. Touch both phalanges. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. That's it. Now, feet out straight. Reach out to them. Feel that stretch in your hamstring. And slowly come up onto your knee. Lunge it forward. Lunge. I've got sweat rolling into my retinas right now. Switch. But you should start to feel a sense of pride. You just got through a really tough workout. We did that together. Three claps, one, two, three. Now, before we close, I wanna uh, make sure you understand what a ball player does. We're different. On the back of my shirt, it says what a ball player does. We as ball players are uh, different. When everybody else is maybe playing video games all day, we're being active. When everybody else is being disrespectful, we're being very kind and very respectful, especially to our parents right now. So. I call this two minutes of what a ball player does, activity. Find something around the house you can do. Maybe that's make your bed, clean up the kitchen, sweep the floor, vacuum, uh, change your little brother, little sister's poopy diaper, whatever you gotta do. Uh, two minutes of what a ball player does, activity. Uh, I'll do the same thing, and I'll see you next week for class number two, okay? Uh, great job, proud of you, outstanding.